This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Dozens of people lined up early at the vaccination site at Miami-Dade College's North Campus. Yesterday, some people were not asked for medical forms or about their eligibility. The site ran out of doses about two hours before closing. Two FEMA-funded sites in Florida City and Sweetwater were closed today, and Publix will prioritize teachers in its next round of appointments. More than 1,900 people made vaccine appointments at Jackson's Health yesterday. The health system opened appointments to people 18 or older who say a doctor recommended they get the vaccine because of a high-risk condition. A doctor's note is not needed. The same is true for 16 and 17-year-olds who come with a parent or a legal guardian. Overwhelmingly, demand caused some people to get blank confirmation pages. Jackson says they'll only accept ones sent via email or text with full information. And despite vaccinations picking up, cruise lines are nowhere close to resuming their business. Both Royal Caribbean and Carnival have announced they will not sail until at least June 1st. The entire cruise industry has basically been shut down for a full year until June 30th. And for all the latest details on where to get vaccinated, including who's eligible and how to book an appointment, log on to our website, cbsmiami.com slash vaccine. Miami Heat big man Myers Leonard is feeling the heat this morning and will be away from the team indefinitely. That's according to the organization. After the second-year player said an anti-Semitic slur while live-streaming a video game, Leonard has apologized after being condemned by the Heat and Anti-Defamation League. He's already out for the rest of the season because of shoulder injury. The Heat say they will cooperate with the NBA's investigation. Now, CBS4 weather. Welcome to Wednesday. We're waking up with just a few showers and sprinkles, mainly in Miami-Dade County. The breeze is still with us, about 10 to 16 miles an hour out of the northeast. And throughout the day, it'll be windy at times. Temperatures comfortable, mostly upper 60s and low 70s. A few inland areas enjoying the low 60s, but highs will be in the mid-70s as we head into the afternoon. A breezy mix of sun and clouds and the chance for some of these passing showers tomorrow. 78, 80 degrees on Friday will be warmer heading into the weekend with lighter winds. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.